introduction to algorithm of addition hello children i am a parrot you are welcome to join me in this video let me tell you what you will learn in this video how single digit numbers are added in an organized way and about the symbol which you use to add numbers today is diwali come let's see what is chotu doing oh chotu how many laddus will you eat come here and help me in making laddus look mother i have made one laddu please give me a plate to keep laddus in now let me keep this laddu in this plate chotu made one more laddu and kept it in the plate so children did you see what round laddus chotu is making now let's see how many laddus chotu has made to begin with chotu made one laddu and then he made one more laddu so it comes to two laddus here chotu take this laddu and keep this also in your plate come children let's see how many laddus are there in chotu's plate earlier chotu's plate had two laddus and then his mother gave him one more laddu oh yes adding one laddu to two laddus makes it three laddus this means the plate now has three laddus very good children you counted the laddus correctly it is festival season many guests are expected to come to chotu's house his grandmother and grandfather reached before everyone else hello grandmother hello grandfather chotu's grandfather gave him two toffees After some time some of Chotu's friends also arrived Chotu's friends also brought some toffees for Chotu They gave Chotu 5 toffees So can you tell me how many toffees did Chotu get in total Come let's see Chotu's grandfather gave him 2 toffees and his friends gave him 5 toffees two toffees and then five more toffees come children let's count and see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this means chotu now has seven toffees with him children do you know what symbol is this yes this is a symbol of addition children we can write it in one more way this means when we added 5 toffees to 2 toffees then we got 7 toffees you also got the same answer right excellent so children that's all for today in this video we learned how single digit numbers are added in an organized way and about the symbol which is used to add numbers in the next video we will see some more interesting examples of adding single digit numbers until then goodbye children Examples of algorithm of addition part 1 Hello children in the last video you learned how to add single digit numbers in an organized way and about the symbol which is used to add numbers In this video we will see some more interesting examples of adding single digit numbers Today Chotu is off to a school picnic He is going to the zoo. Today all the children have got something delicious to eat. Chotu also opened his lunch box to see what he had got. Oh no, my lunch box fell on the ground. Chotu don't cry. Here have some fritters. 1 2 3 4 5 So children, how many fritters does Chotu have now? Since Chotu's lunch box was empty, he did not have anything in his box. This means 
zero fritters. Arti gave Chotu five fritters. So Chotu has five fritters. So children, do you remember how we added single digit numbers in an organized way? It means zero fritters and five fritters. So Chotu has five fritters. Now everyone ate from their lunch boxes and went inside the zoo to see some more animals. There they see many animals. Elephants, lions, rhinoceros and crocodiles. Close by they see a lady selling small stuffed toys of the same animals. Chodo and Arti go towards the cart and they both really like a stuffed toy of an elephant. Auntie, how much is this elephant for? It's for 9 rupees. Arti, I have 5 rupees. I have 4 rupees. Children, Chotu and Arti both really like the stuffed elephant toy. But will they be able to buy that elephant? Come, let's see. Chotu has 5 rupees and Arti has 4 rupees. So together they have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we can also write it in an organized manner like this. When we add 5 rupees and 4 rupees, we get 9 rupees. Chotu and Aarti together have 9 rupees. And the elephant also costs 9 rupees. So what do you think? Will Chotu and Aarti be able to buy the stuffed toy? Oh yes! They bought the stuffed toy. That is all we have for today. In this video, we saw some interesting examples of how to add single digit numbers. In the next video, we will bring to you some more exciting examples of addition. We will also talk about some common errors that we should avoid. Until then, bye bye children. Examples of Algorithm of Addition Part 2 So children, in the last video you saw some interesting examples of adding numbers in an organized manner. In this video, we will see some more examples of addition. We will also talk about some common errors that we should avoid. Today Chotu found his coloring book on the desk. Oh wow! My coloring book! It has been so many days since I have colored in my coloring book. Chodu goes to get his colors from his Almira. Here are both my color boxes. Chodu sits down with his color boxes to color. Oh! What is this? There is not a single color in this box. Let me do one thing. I will count all the colors I have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This box has 8 colors. And the other box is empty. Meaning colors 0. Children, can you tell how many colors does Chotu have in total? Oh yes, you are correct. Chotu has 8 colors. When we add objects to some more objects, the total number increases. But earlier also I had 8 colors. Oh yes, since one box has 8 and the other box has 0 colors, the total number of colors is 8. So children, did you see, when Chotu added the colors of the two boxes, one box was empty. Which means that it had zero colors and the other box had eight colors. So Chotu has eight colors in total. It will be so much fun today when Aarti and Sonu come to my house to play. Hello friends, come on in. 
As soon as they came, the children started playing. Chotu, give both your friends five toffees each, and you can also take five toffees. Here, Arti, Sonu, my mother has given toffees for all of us. Chotu started counting the toffees and giving to his friends. Sonu feels that he is getting lesser number of toffees. Children, what do you think? Did Sonu get lesser number of toffees? Come, let's see why Sonu felt this way. Sonu got three yellow toffees and two green toffees, and Arti got four green toffees and one yellow toffee. So three toffees and two toffees added together makes five toffees. Four toffees and one toffee added together also makes five toffees. This means that Sonu and Arti both got exactly the same number of toffees. So children, it is possible to get the same answer by adding different numbers. So children, in this video we learn that when we add zero to any number, it neither increases nor decreases. For example, when we added zero to eight. The total remained eight. We also saw that it is possible to get the same answer by adding different numbers. For example, when we add three and two, we get five, and when we add four and one, we still get five. This means that we can get the same answer by adding different numbers. I hope, children, that through this video, you have learned how to add numbers in an organized way. So children we had a lot of fun today we will meet again and learn something new until then bye bye children to addition hello friends i am the parrot and i welcome you to today's lesson come on let us see what are you going to learn in today's lesson what happens if you add one more thing to a given thing and how to add numbers today pinky's mother is unwell so pinky has thought of helping her mother set the plates in the kitchen She picked up one plate and set it carefully on the shelf. Very carefully she picked up one more plate and set that plate on the shelf too. So friends, how many plates are there on the shelf? That's right. One plate and one more plate is two plates. She saw one more plate and thought of setting that too on the shelf. there were two plates already after setting one more plate how many plates are there on the shelf that's right two plates and one more plate is three plates which means in total there are now three plates on the shelf so friends you saw that adding more things to the given things increases their number At school too Pinky helps her teacher set things. In today's art class she distributed color boxes to everyone. Let us see what is happening in today's class. Today all students have to make a drawing of trees. So Pinky thought of making drawing of a jungle. At first she drew one tree because she had to make a dense forest. So she drew another tree. Pinky, what have you drawn in the picture? At first I drew one tree, then I drew another tree. So in total I drew two trees. If you draw another tree then how many trees will be there? See this teacher, two trees and one more tree. So now in total there are three trees. Very good Pinky. Okay suppose if i draw one more tree 
along with these three trees. So, how many trees will be there in total? Three trees and one more tree. So, in total, there are four trees. Very good, Pinky. Okay, if I make one more tree along with these four trees, then how many trees will be there? Four trees and one more tree. Then in total, there are five trees. Very good, Pinky. Come on, now complete your drawing. So, children, can you also add things like Pinky and tell their total number? That's all for today. In this video, we learned adding more things to the given things increases their number. In the next video, we will see some interesting examples of addition. Till then, bye friends. children in the previous video you drew several trees one by one in a forest and counted them in total come on let us see some more examples in this video today Chotu wants to stitch a few buttons on his shirt he already stitched three buttons and then he stitched one more button three buttons and one button is four buttons now Chotu has stitched one more button on his shirt. So four buttons and one more button is five buttons. Now count and tell how many buttons are stitched in Chotu's shirt. Yes, you are absolutely correct. Total of five buttons. Through hard work, Chotu stitched one more button after five buttons. Now think and answer total how many buttons are stitched on Chotu's shirt. Yes, you are correct. 5 buttons and 1 button. There are a total of 6 buttons stitched on Chotu's shirt. Good work. In the end, Chotu stitched 3 more buttons on his shirt. So now there are 6 buttons and 3 more buttons. Now what is the total number of buttons stitched on his shirt? Yes, 9 buttons. So children, I hope you had fun seeing the examples of addition. Even you look at things around you and you must try to add numbers to find the total number. That's it for today. In this video, we saw examples of addition in which we added more numbers to the given numbers. In the next video, we will see some more examples of addition and some common mistakes. Till then, goodbye friends. Examples of Addition Part 2 So children, in the previous video you saw how we added numbers to more numbers. In this video, we will see some more examples and understand where all did Chotu make mistakes while doing addition. Pinky and Chotu are playing the small snakes and ladder game because it has numbers only from 1 to 9. In this, two dice are thrown in turns and by adding numbers of both dice, one has to move the piece to the correct number. The one who reaches at 9 first wins the game. Let us see how Chotu and Pinky are enjoying this game. May I roll the dice first? Yeah, sure. Then add the numbers on both the dice correctly and move your piece forward. Okay. Chotu rolls both the dice. Just see, 2 is written on one dice and 3 on the other. Chotu, what is the total when you add 2 and 3? When we add 2 and 3, we get 4. This is incorrect, Chotu. Think again and explain how did you count. 
one and two. That's the number on the first dice. Two, three, and four. Do you think Chotu's method to add the numbers is correct? Come on, let us look at this carefully. Chotu two has come on one dice, so move your piece forward to two places. And after that, move your piece as many numbers forward as the number on other dice. Because here we got the number three from the second dice. From two, we will go three places forward. Here is the first step. Here is the second step, and here is the third step. Oh yes! When we add two and three, we get total of five. Absolutely correct. It's my turn now. Now Pinky rolls both the dice. Five comes on the first dice, and four comes on the second dice. It is five and four. First, I am moving my piece five places forward. One. Two, three, four, and five. My piece is on number five. So now I will move it four places forward. One, two, three, and four. Now my piece has come to number nine. That means adding five and four gave us nine. Is that right, Pinky? Yes, Chotu. You are absolutely correct. Hooray! I won the game. Come on, let's start again. This time, properly add the numbers on both dice and move your piece forward. So, children, I hope you had fun watching the game of snakes and ladder. You too can now add two numbers like Chotu and Pinky, isn't it? That's all on this topic. In this video, we learned. that to add any two numbers we need to start adding the next number after the first number i hope that you have understood this topic properly good bye friends